Your patient is awake, anxious, and staring at you as if something is very, very wrong. You look up at the monitor and see this rhythm with a rate of 210. What are we gonna do? This rhythm is SVT, or supraventricular tachycardia. It's fast, narrow, and regular. But the problem is that the heart is beating so fast that it's not actually giving it time to fill, which is leading to a cardiac output collapse. We need to slow it down. Step one, stable or unstable? Let's look at our patient. Are they stable? Well, if their blood pressure is low, if they are altered, or if they have chest pain, they are an unstable patient, and they're gonna need a synchronized cardioversion yesterday. But what if they're stable? Well, you have a bunch of tricks up your sleeve that we can use. First things first, we're gonna try with something called a vagal maneuver. We're gonna have them bear down, blow through a little syringe and try to push the plunger out, or maybe dip their face in ice if they're a pediatric. This is gonna help see if we can slow their rate down without an IV. And if that fails, well, we're gonna push adenosine. Adenosine has to be pushed fast and flushed even faster. This is a medication that you slam. We're gonna see a short pause on the monitor and hopefully a normal rhythm will return. SVT looks really scary, but if you know the steps, it becomes super predictable. And the next time you see a heart rate of 210, you'll know exactly what to do.